Believe it or not, this isn't the weirdest thing I've done today. <laughs> you got it all in? I got the sausage as far in there as I could get it. Those fingers are about an inch long, and you're missing a pinky. You just work with what you got. We are setting up a little bit of an experiment. We've got a railroad spike, a grinder that we cut in half, our rex knife, half of that aluminum foil ball, our tarantula, one of Craig's wrenches, half of a hard drive, Mitchell's creepy sausage finger glove. That's gonna be the gift. And then the last piece of the puzzle is this. A Wallabot. About a month ago, Wallabot reached out to us and they wanted us to see what we could do with this. And this is an in-wall imager. Imger? Imager. Not imger, imager. So if a knife is to a water jet, a stud finder is to this Wallabot. A knife can cut stuff, a water jet will cut anything stud finder will kind of find stuff this will find everything so we can go along this wall and we can find a wire and a stud so now mitchell knows not to punch the wall right there so you can also use the expert mode which see if i put something underneath it you can see it we're going to use this mode to find a bunch of random objects under this plywood and then try to not cut them. That was my idea, yeah. Mitchell is going to not be here. I'm going to hide a bunch of stuff underneath this piece of plywood, including your phone and your wallet. Sick, man. That's my wallet. <laughs> I'm going to hide these items under the plywood Mitchell's going to use the wallbot to try and find them. He won't know exactly where they are, but he'll use that to find them. And then he has to control the water jet and get from point A to point B without cutting any of the items, including his phone and wallet. You want my keys in there too? Yeah. And his keys. got start point it's got to first hit this point and then he's got to finish up there I think that's the longest I've been without my phone oh we got something juicy here that's looking like a no-go Okay, this is my general plan. You feeling pretty confident? Yeah. I'm gonna travel uh, through here. First checkpoint. This is kind of a scary zone here. So I'm thinking I'll no, try to... No, 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 you gotta thread the needle. You gotta thread it. Yeah. I didn't hit the start. You missed that one. Barely missed that one. And I uh, just <laughs> barely went around that one. Are, are you still confident? <laughs> this is my favorite line here. <laughs> it's just a stairway. <laughs> you missed your keys by a couple inches. I need these to get home. We, your phone? That still works. Oh. Sausage fing did sausage fingers survive? Still sausagey. Sausage fingers lived. And your wallet got yeah. Nice and wet. A little wet. <laughs> Should be good. <laughs> hey Mitchell, so would you trust your life with this wallabot? I mean, I just did, since my phone and my wallet are my life. <laughs> so yeah. If I were hiding in a wall and you were hanging a picture, I would trust you to not hit me in the head. So, <laughs> That's a pretty it, good endorsement. Give it my seal of approval. We need the ultimate endorsement though. 
Yep, that's a wallabot. And the wallabot approved of your tongue too, so oh, nice. it was mutual. Ooh. Thanks again to Wallabot for sponsoring this video and for providing us with the life-saving wallabot. If you click on the link down in the description, it'll take you to their website. You can check them out. Uh, it really is a cool device. And now, because midget sausage fingers survived, we're going to uh, see what the water jet will do to that. A bunch of people have uh, wondered what a water jet would do to your finger. This is a sausage finger, essentially. Yep, that is the sausage equivalent of one finger. We're gonna do one like a quick swipe through and see what kind of damage it does and then we'll try to hold it under there. I'll try to like cut my name into it by moving the sausage. Like in case the guy like has no nervous system or something? Or is like in the middle of a seizure or something? <laughs> this is what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just water. Break this. <laughs> so, what did we learn? You wouldn't even be able to find your finger to try to sew it back on. <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> Not even floating on the top. <laughs>